Six months today. Yay, Sam, six months. Yay. What's up, Ink Squad? So Kaylee's about to go to an appointment right now. Yes, we're late. We're we late, are late, late. out of here. What's up, Ink Squad? I still got on my uh -huh. scarf because if you know, you know. Um. Oh, yeah, her thing. Anyway, so, yeah, we're running out of the house right now. Um, babe, can you get, grab me a water, please? It's just me and baby K going, because y'all know with this Rona Rona going on, we can only have one person at a time. So, I am going with her. Oh, thank you, babe. It is such a beautiful day. I'll put the right off of her. Yeah. Kenny dressed her so cute today. Her little shoes. He dressed her so cute. Oh, I wish I could go with y'all. But all I'm gonna do is sit in the car and be hot. But um, yeah, Mama, it's just six months today. I'm so I don't know how to feel right now. I feel like a proud dad. I feel like a proud dad. It gets so big, mama. So big. I love you. I'm probably gonna have to feed her when we get there. Yeah, because she ain't. She was eating this morning um, before we actually got up. But barely. So, well, yeah, she, no, she ate. Uh, she ate like a few times. Mama is six months. Look at the, look at the feet. Yeah. 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 We call this the six month drip. Oh. Yeah, with the yellow. It's that six month drip. Mommy. Mommy. So, y'all, we are back at the car. Oh, let me turn this around. We are back at the car, um, just like last time. I don't know if y'all watched the last um, vlog to the doctor but um, we have to wait for them to call us and back in um, whenever a room is available last time it was really fast oh don't talk about the, the inside of my mask <laughs> but um, last time it was really really fast and I remember wanting to go to Starbucks just like I do now last time and they ended up calling me like right before we could even um, like get in the car so I don't know if it'll be like that this time, but I am about to try to quickly run over to Starbucks. If there isn't a line, or maybe I can order with my mobile app and then it'll already be ready when I get there. I don't know, but that's what we're about to do. I'm about to head over there really quick because I really want a coffee. And I know that when I get in there, they're gonna take forever with everything. So let me sit y'all right here, actually. Off in the car. Ooh. It is pretty hot today, y'all. called me and that was super duper quick I don't even know why I thought that it would be any different but oh, where's my books? they just called so we're about to go right back in I literally just put her in the car started backing out and then I got a call so I mean at least I didn't get like out of the parking lot out of my parking spot all the way and like lose my parking spot because I got a clutch spot right here in the front. Right here in the front, so yeah. I gotta put my baby right back in here. Where's my purse? Oh, it's in here. Oh, 
It's so funny, people be looking at me crazy. I'm like talking to myself low key. Mama. Oh shoot, my water bottle spiller. Okay, so I'm doing up the most right now, so I'm gonna catch you guys when we get inside. Yes. Her name is Kaylee I'm Logan. <laughs> it's okay. for her actual doctor to get here. Um, Dr. Gila, I think that's how you pronounce her name. We're waiting for her to get inside the room so she can do, I think she may be getting some shots today. Um, her six month shots. So that should be fun. You ready, mama? Here's some information about today. Thank you. Okay, so they just brought in a little form about today's visit. Okay, so she is getting vaccinated today. Um, I just turned to the page. It says that she's getting the DTAP, hepatitis B. So these are the same, um, these are the same vaccines that she got last time, but she comes every two months now. So yeah, these are the same ones that she got last time. So I'm guessing that it's so many doses that they have to get of these, which is like the vaccines that they have to get. Cause I'm not like, I'm not really big on, sorry y'all. Ooh. I'm not really big on like vaccinations and stuff like that but you know the first vaccines and stuff they have to kind of get um, and then like when she gets older like two years old one years old um, a lot of vaccines I'm actually gonna say no to because you do have that option you can say you know it's a part of your religion that you just don't want 
your baby to get those vaccines. But I know like first starting out when they're like this young or when they are newborns, you kind of have to get certain vaccines. So, um, but yeah, going forth um, when she gets older, then I will be saying no to a lot of those vaccines because just like my mom, she said no to a lot of them and I'm just fine. So I just don't like the fact that a lot of vaccines and stuff have the actual um, whatever they're trying to keep away, like like say the flu shot, it has the actual flu within it to make your immune system immune to it. But if it's, you know, my whole thing is if it's your immune system, it should already know how to do its job and be immune from things. Hi. 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 How, how are you? Good. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You're in a good mood. Yes. <laughs> what time you sit by yourself? Yes. Oh She's my gosh. She's holding herself so well. She knows that how to sit awesome. up now by herself. Where are your teeth? So are they trying? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is great because she still is like okay with strangers. But yeah, that's gonna change in the next few months. So don't yeah, be alarmed. I, listen, I kind of see it starting to change. Yeah, she's, she's like getting more attached Clean. to me. Yes. Yeah, she won't want to be left in the room by herself. Yeah, even family members that she's known for mm -hmm. a long time, she may suddenly cry when they come to say hi. So yeah. don't be scared about all that. There's some other developmental things that might start happening now. Tugging of the ears. Uh -huh. Um. Shaking, mm -hmm. little, mm -hmm. hitting, throwing, biting, all that stuff is going to be very normal coming mm -hmm. up because she looks like she's like doing nine month old things. Already. She is. She's very advanced. <laughs> like, and it's been that way, but That's like great. now it's like, oh my God. <laughs> really like showing yeah. the difference from four months to six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with her feedings now? Um. So I started um, actually for about a week now, I started giving her. Um, um, oatmeal. Yes. I, I'm gonna make all of her Fantastic. baby foods and stuff good, like that, um, just because it's healthier, yeah. better, and I can see what's you have actually. Time, you can do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I, I started too. giving her that. Yeah. Yeah, I, think I would make better. a big soup once a week yeah. and put all the veggies, chicken, and blend them down and store little containers. Oh, that's a good idea. I never thought about soup. Oh, yeah, it makes it easier. Yeah. And then, um, as they got older, I'd leave more chunky pieces in there. Yeah. But really at this age, it's a lot of baby led weaning where they just sit breakfast, lunch, and dinner with you mm -hmm. as you're eating, and you could just give her pieces in front of you. She yeah. could pick up an avocado, she could pick yeah. up eggs. Yeah, she knows how to feed herself, because I give her the little, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but the teethers yeah. that they yeah. can eat themselves. Yeah, yeah. I started giving her that like a few weeks ago. Yeah. She loves those. So go for it, make good good eating habits where you guys sit together as a family mm -hmm. and she could eat everything except for honey. Okay. So if you wanted to give her salmon and yogurt, yeah. you know, the, the allergen foods, the common ones is egg, peanut, and fish. Okay. And usually what that would do is like a rash everywhere mm -hmm. and a vomit. Mm -hmm. So just on those days that you start those just to keep an eye. But okay. otherwise, all fruits, all veggies, all cereals, everything. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to do a lot of blending. Okay. Uh, fresh fruits every morning, cut it up with a regular adult oatmeal or grits or something like mm -hmm. that. You can use uh, milk, you could use almond milk, you could use coconut milk, whatever you like. Yeah. Okay. okay. I actually was putting my breast milk in it. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's I saw too. Yeah. I was like, hmm, that's a good and idea. And water. Water. And she doesn't she eat anything else. Water? She could drink water. Now okay. she should because with a solid food, we don't want her to get constipated. That's what my fiance was saying. He was like, babe, she's gonna, because when she was eating a little tea, their snacks, he was like, she might be thirsty. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you're right. Because no. that's a little you dry. Do it. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, what I did do today is I sent a different kind of vitamin. Mm -hmm. um, okay. um, I sent the vitamin now that has the iron mixed in it because okay. breast milk won't have iron anymore. That's why we put this on the table food. Right. And so um, that way when you go to the you know exactly the kind that like right. we need specifically a multivitamin with iron so that we don't have to do the D anymore. Okay. Okay. Oh, how is she sleeping at night? Um, she still wakes up at least once. And you nurse her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mostly um, it's habit, you know. I think it's point. just habit more so. She's not hungry. Yeah. That's why I'm like, <laughs> and it's, but it's, you know, I know like I should just, 
Oh, it's so hard because she sleeps in the room with us. So it's I like, was just gonna tell you about that. This crib. is a time you can move her to her own room now too. Yeah, but we have a one bedroom. We're moving soon, oh, so okay. I'm so excited about that. You, but yeah. for now, she has to That's sleep fine. in. That's fine. Yeah. Um, today's vaccines are the same like the last time, but it's also flu season now. Mm -hmm. So we also recommend for her to have her flu shot today too. Oh, I don't want. Oh, you don't want her to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do want to send home a paper with you guys to read about it okay. because every year it's gonna come up. Yeah. And I want you guys to have the information. Okay. I will bring you the handout after, okay. but definitely it's something important. We won't do it today, but okay. go home and talk to Daddy about it too, and okay. maybe consider it for next season. And then the other things is, um, you know, like reading with her, talking yeah. to her, going for walks outside, mm -hmm. um, making a family meal time, mm -hmm. a bedtime routine, mm -hmm. you know, all that kind of stuff. Setting all that up from now really mm -hmm. helps for her language and yeah. development in general. Mm -hmm. Um, if I could teach you about any good website, it's mm -hmm. healthychildren.org. Okay. It's the best place to get all the information on any question you might have. Mm -hmm. Do you mind me recording? Do you yeah. mind me recording? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I put it in up. here. <laughs> Healthy. I do YouTube, so a lot of the mommies, oh. they like to see these doctor visits. Oh wow, I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Healthy child. I've already told them about you like Oh, that's five so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you ready? I'll show you her growth curve after. Okay, you wrote it down for me. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Next it's time will okay, be even baby. harder because um, she's going to remember what's going to happen here today. Really? Okay, come, come. Come, come, come. And you're getting sleepy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not time. She wants time. a booby now. Yeah. You want a booby, Mama? I'm going to step away for a second. I have to turn off the lights. Okay. She's Mama. going up to stand, too? Yeah, she stands. Wow. Mm -hmm. We don't recommend walkers. That's another important thing really? to talk about. Yes, nothing that she sits in and walks her all around the house is very dangerous. Okay. Only like a jumper roo that stands still. Okay. And even that, always watch her. Mm -hmm. Always lock, tie her up when she's in the car seat or the swing. Mm -hmm. The best thing is a mat on the floor mm -hmm. with gates all around mm -hmm. and just let her be there to, to roam around. Mm -hmm. You know, start childproofing things around the house. Yeah. Before you know it, she'll be crawling to stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm all I'm all done from my end. Okay. I want to show you her growth curve. She's so tall, 97 percentile with her height. Yeah. And 93 percent with her weight, which is perfect for okay. what she was born and yeah. her circumference. She's like yeah. the biggest yeah. six-month-old yeah. girl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, literally. You have to buy like almost one-year-old stuff. Yes, we took her to um, the pool yesterday, and she her swimsuit was 12 months. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. I was like, so oh my gosh. That. That's really important. Oh my gosh, and she knows how to swim. Yes. She I was like swimming. Yes. I was like, what? They can learn to float too and survive. Yeah. It's so cool. It really is. <laughs> I was so shocked. And read every night. Yes. And don't let her watch any TV, any iPad, nothing.